वेलकम टू फिजिकल सैंस आनलाइन क्लास वरंगल अर्बन मै सेलफ तेवलपल किरण कुमार एस ए फिजिकल सैंस जी हेच अटवाड़ा टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबउट एसिड्स एंड बेसिस इन दट नैचुल इंडिकेटर्स कैमिकल प्रापर्टी आफ एसिड्स एंड बेसिस एंड लैब एक्टिविटी आफ एसिड रियाक्टिंग विथ मेटल आर गोइंग टू सी इन सेवंथ क्लास we already learn about acids bases and salts and now we are going to learn in 10th class in detail in this chapter <coughs> the important terms we used acid as you know already acids are sour to taste and turns blue litmus to red example HCl, H2SO4, lemon juice, tamarind juice, vinegar, and base. Base, soapy to touch, and turns red litmus to blue color. Example for bases: sodium hydroxide NaOH, magnesium hydroxide, MgOH taken twice. toothpaste we use daily and soap water and next salt salt is a substance formed as result of neutralization reaction between acid and base example for salts nacl sodium chloride generally we call it as table salt we use in our houses daily silver nitrate agno3 and mgcl2 magnesium chloride and we use indicator terms regularly in this chapter what is an indicator indicator is the substances are used to detect the nature of given solution for acidity or basicity are called indicators we have many types of indicators many indicators examples some are litmus papers red litmus blue litmus etc and universal paper methyl orange indicator phenolphthalein indicator these are some indicators we see in this chapter natural indicators we know litmus solution is a dye extracted from lichen lichen a plant belonging to the division of thallophyta and is used as indicator in neutral solution litmus color is purple colored petals of some flowers such as hydrangea petunia and geranium are also used as indicators there are many natural indicators like litmus extract of red cabbage turmeric solution and extracts of colored petals of some flowers contain dye molecules which are weak acids or bases this can be used as acid base indicators to detect the nature of the solution for acidity or basicity in addition to the above natural acid base indicators there are some synthetic indicators such as methyl orange and phenolphthalein that can be used to test for acids and bases in this chapter we study the reactions of acids and bases now we go for chemical properties of acids and bases in this identification of acids and bases activity 1 here to do this activity we need the following material chemicals what are the materials or chemicals here hydrochloric acid hcl sulfuric acid h2so4 nitric acid hno3 acetic acid ch3coh these are acids sodium hydroxide naoh calcium hydroxide magnesium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide these are all bases we have to collect these samples 
then we need to test the acidity and basicity of the above chemicals for that we need some indicators blue litmus and red litmus methyl orange indicator phenolphthalein indicator and some material like watch glasses now how to identify the acids and bases with using of this indicators first we have to collect the samples from science laboratory then we have to prepare dilute solutions of the respective substance substances and take four watch glasses and put one drop of first solution in each of them and test the solution as follows dip the blue litmus paper in first watch glass dip red litmus paper in second watch glass add a drop of methyl orange indicator to the third watch glass and add a drop of phenolphthalein to the fourth watch glass and observe what will happen here see the picture a blue litmus paper is on is in hcl solution what happened to the litmus paper test if you put a blue litmus paper in hcl it will turns into red color yes and also if you put blue litmus papers in any acid like hno3 h2so4 and acetic acid you can get the same result blue litmus paper turns red in acids and if you put red litmus paper in it with the red litmus paper acids give no color change if you put red litmus paper into a base solution that red litmus paper turns blue in bases observe the second picture and second picture in down also if you put red litmus paper in bases those bases can turn red litmus paper into blue so what we observe from the above testes litmus test bases turns red litmus to blue and acid turns blue litmus to red bases turns red litmus to blue brb acid turns blue litmus to red abr you have to remember easily by using this shortcut see here next test with methyl orange solution methyl orange solution is in actually orange color if you put this methyl orange solution in acids acids gives reddish or pinkish color in with methyl orange solution if you put this methyl orange solution in bases base can turn methyl orange color to yellow observe the figures in the above figure there are two test tubes are shown first test tube is in red color which means that is acid methyl orange turns red color and second test tube shows base the color of the methyl orange solution in base solution is yellow methyl orange solution color is red in acids and yellow in bases now the test with phenolphthalein solution if you pour a few drops of phenolphthalein solution into acids it cannot change its color no color change with acids 
if you pour a few drops of phenolphthalein solution into alkalis like bases the color of the solution turns into pink color see here phenolphthalein is an indicator it can give pink color with bases only but do not change any color with acids colorless solution with acids so phenolphthalein solution colorless in acids and pink color in bases so observation of the activity the respective color changes and note down in table to the same with all about dilute solutions see here 1 2 3 4 serial numbers are acid samples with red litmus paper no change and these acids with blue litmus paper blue color turns into red these four samples of acids with phenolphthalein solution colorless and with methyl orange solution pinkish red color is observed and serial number 5 6 7 8 9 or bases these all bases with red litmus paper the litmus paper turns to blue color and with blue litmus paper no color change is observed these five bases with phenolphthalein solution turns its color into pink and these five bases with methyl orange solution the color is observed yellow so from this sample the four are the first four are acids and next five are bases and there are some substances whose odor change in acidic or basic media these are called olfactory indicators what are olfactory indicators the substances whose odor changes in acidic or basic media are called olfactory indicators examples are onion clove oil and vanilla essence yes then there is a question arises here why pickles and sour substances are not stored in brass and copper vessels we have pickles in our houses we store these pickles in steel containers or plastic containers or pottery containers but we are not stored these pickles in brass and copper vessels why the answer is sour substances are acidic in nature the pickles are sour substances so those are acidic in nature that means they have acids in them so when they are kept in brass or copper vessels what will happen they react the acids in the pickles react with the copper and brass and form poisonous or better to say toxic elements which may prove harmful for human body so we cannot store in brass and copper vessels we are kept in steel or plastic or pottery containers only so to observe this we see the reaction of acids and bases with metals how acids and bases react with metals we can see in the form of a lab activity see what is the <coughs> aim of our lab activity to show the reaction of the acids with the metals what are the materials required for it see here we need a test tube a delivery tube glass trough candle soap water dilute hcl zinc granules retort strand etc these are all required material to do this lab activity and observe the figure we have to arrange all the apparatus as shown in figure and then 
we do the lab activity let us go for the lab activity procedure as already i told set the apparatus as shown in figure I take about 10 ml of dilute hcl in a test tube and add few zinc granules to it we will observe the formation of gas bubbles on the surface of zinc granule pass the gas being evolved through the soap water a gas is evolved in the test tube you have to pass that gas through a soap water with the help of a delivery tube gas filled bubbles are formed in the soap solution which rises into the air see the picture and bring a banding burning candle near the gas filled bubbles the gas present in the soap bubble burns with a pop sound let us see see here the video we fix a delivery tube with a car to the test tube we put some zinc granules in the test tube and we added hcl acid to the test tube on reaction of hcl acid with zinc granules gas bubbles a gas is being evolved observe the video reaction is taking place the evolved gas going through the delivery tube to the soap solution bottom of the soap solution and the gas will reach the surface of the soap solution at the surface of the soap solution we have to put a burning candle near to the air bubbles on the surface of soap solution and observe what will happen see here the burning candle is off with a pop sound this indicates the presence of h2 gas on the surface of soap solution so what will the result of this activity the result is only hydrogen gas burns with blue flame and put the candle off with a pop sound and so we'll notice that metals when reacts with dilute acids displaces hydrogen from acids so on reaction with metals acids can give or displace hydrogen gas from acids that that hydrogen gas burns with a blue flame and put the candle off with a pop sound this is the result of the activity the chemical reaction of the activity is acid plus metal gives rise to salt plus hydrogen gas 2 hcl plus zn that means zinc gives rise to zinc chloride plus h2 place a few granules of zinc metal in one of the test tubes and add 10 ml of sodium hydroxide in a wet solution and see is there anything happens no then 
we have to warm the contents of the test tube test the gas liberated with burning candle as shown as we done in the lab activity and record our your observations in this activity also you will notice that evolved gas is hydrogen and salt formed is sodium zincate the reaction is written as follows 2 NaOH sodium hydroxide plus Zn zinc gives rise to Na2ZnO2 that is sodium zincate plus hydrogen gas acids plus metal can give salt and hydrogen as in the same way here also base plus metal on reaction it can give also salt plus hydrogen it is however these reactions are not possible with all metals